with that crying gumbo. What you know about it? I'm from New Orleans City. What you know about it? I run that dirty south. What you know about it? The only thing you know is Reverend Webb. Let me break down the details. Yeah, man, cause I know my city pretty well. From all the killing and the stealing and the drug dealing. And I'm on the man. Who the next victim? Is it me, man? Or a family member? Is it Cold City? I ain't talking December. Katrina two us up. We still messed up. And mentally, we don't know what to do, bruh. That's why all these teens out here in it wild, man. Can't get a job, cause New Orleans is jobless. Can't live your life, cause New Orleans is timeless. Everybody smoking, like we on fire. I don't smoke weed, that's not in my desire. I'm just trying to fly, and I don't need no sweaters. I fly G5, you can't get no higher. Yeah, New Orleans is hell, we just don't got the fire. This that crying gumbo, what you know about it? I'm from New Orleans City, what you know about it? I rep that dirty south. What you know about it? The only thing you know is bourbon way of being crowded. Get that crying gumbo. What you know about it? I'm from New Orleans City. What you know about it? I rub that dirty south. What you know about it? The only thing you know is bourbon way of being crowded. Welcome to my city where everybody dies. Every day I drive by a different mama crying. A damn shame. I can feel that mama pain. But in the end, no shit will never ever change. But all across the world, it's all the same. And if the thugs say it's all in the game. And if you ain't gang banging, then they say you're lame. But as human beings, we gotta make a change. Stop selling dope, boy. Go and get a job. With the young generation, they rather ride. I tell them be a man and pull up their pants. But they look at me. Like you ain't my dad, but it's a sad world that we living in. Every day a nigga dies, so pitiful. But every day I try to stay spiritual. Murder in New Orleans, it's just a ritual. We'll make New Orleans unique from other cities. Man, I think I think it's something in the water. Yeah, it's who we are. We are part of a culture here. It's it's. I mean, and you see it the moment you see a second line. You know? Everything. Niggas, bitches. My God. Buy your classic. Uh, uh, festivals. Alcohol. Alcohol. We our own. You know what I'm saying? We our own everything. You know what I'm saying? We got our own music, our own style, our own way of talking. Jazz playing. Brad man, playing, you know, some hip hop artists, some bounce artists getting it in, you know what I'm saying? All kind of poetry sets. We celebrate everything, even when a nigga gets smoked, you know what I'm saying? Everything is celebration now, you know what I'm saying? Various attractions, uh, French quarters, and it uh, seems like they're always having a party down here for supper. The city of New Orleans is divided into 17 wards. These wards are used in the voting process. Well, I'm from New York. From Algeria. I'm Magnolia. I'm from the Bella. I'm Grandma. Tomer. I'm from Hollywood, 17th Ward. Southside New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm D1. I'm the one man on. That's when you're grinding seven days a week, looking for a brighter day, but this is my reality. Welcome to New Orleans, crying gumbo. That's no secret in the recipe. I'ma break it down first. The greedy and the jealousy. The hating when your knowledge is higher than air pilots. Graduated from high school and can't afford to go to college. This is the first eye that promotes her violence. I'm a street journalist, 10 for a copy, but that's another episode. Back to the strip, let's see what's in this gumbo. Crooked coppers and judges that's only in it for the payroll. Three strikes and they'll take your life like them guy from Geico, but this is no commercial. No edit scenes, only bloody horror crime scene. Whatever happened to King Dream, Malcolm and you and Newton, and all of the black leaders that planted they see. They can't tell me nothing. Would the principles of Jesus and the Bible help crime go down in New Orleans and the surrounding areas, and why? I believe in Jesus. I believe he came down here and did his thing. And would I think it affect people? Yeah. It would if people actually read the Bible to understand it. People don't read the Bible to understand it. People read the Bible because they're supposed to read the Bible. You know, you, 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 when you go to church, the pastor is supposed to understand this book and teach you this book. Of course, man, if people read the Bible, if people put God and Jesus first in their life, I mean, and not just say that verbally. Everybody doesn't believe in the same God. Everybody doesn't believe in Jesus. I don't think so. You ain't trying to help a nigga. At the end of the day, you gotta look at this. Okay. Jesus is a peace. Love. You know what I'm saying? Happiness. I don't think so. Like, 
the way they put us in, the predicament they put us in, that's how we gotta live. Like the Bible, they see how that's how we supposed to live, but I don't know, like, shit, we, look where we come from. We don't come from nothing. We come from love. We, ain't, we wasn't born in the world. That's how we gotta get it. We gotta get it how we live, man. They'll bring change in New Orleans. You got to do it as a whole. There's some people that kill and then find gold, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, gold is a solution, you know what I'm saying? So if you is in that life, you know what I'm saying, it do best, you know what I'm saying? Give gold a try. When people start believing God and putting their faith in God and try to come together and make things happen differently or whatever, and we change our attitudes amongst each other or whatever, and we try to come together, then we can make it happen. People stood for something. They want to fall for anything, you know what I'm saying? If they had some moral standards and some background and what they believe in, you know, people wouldn't just mess over each other for no reason, you know what I'm saying? People actually think about what they do before they do it instead of just jumping off the porch head first like they know to do. Saving lives is not just within the church, it's outside the church. The worst part is that people are doing negative things now and they don't even feel bad about it anymore, you know what I'm saying? Like, Economics, the system of producing and distributing wealth. In New Orleans, it's not being distributed equally. Race, the people inside New Orleans culture. Sex, the pleasure. Black females are the leading target of HIV and AIDS. Religion, the mindset and the belief. Some religion teach that there is no hell. Entertainment is the influence. Politics is the government who set laws. These laws are carried out by the police. Um, we learned that uh, while the murder victims are disproportionately black, most African American young people have no greater chance of being a victim of homicide or perpetrator than any Caucasian kid. So these are pockets of what we call the culture of violence in different parts of the city. A variety of Christian churches and Muslims have done a better job than all the psychologists in America of changing these kids. Music choices, rap music, hip hop, and a variety of forms has had an influence, not all of it good. We dealt with this as a political football rather than a problem to be cured. Crab in a bucket mentality. What does it mean to you? Do you believe the willingness letter theory plays a part in its mentality? Also, does poverty bring on this mindset? Well, first and foremost, fuck Willie Lynch. You hear me? Oh, mercy. Boo cool. Boo cool, boo cool, motherfuckers. You hear me? Powered up trying to live, then get out. You hear me? Everybody trying to get on top of everybody. Everybody want to be the big man. Everybody feel like they got a point to prove. You hear me? See that Bourbon Street hole behind down there? Is a crab in the bucket mentality. Because the artists down there neglect to realize that if they unionized and came together, that the owners wouldn't feel like they'd have to prostitute their gift in order to make money. You understand what I'm saying? Like, make up a song about a tip job. The reality is the haves and the have nots. And people are trying to do anything by any means necessary to make their money. So if it means I'm gonna pull you down, I'm gonna underbid and go in and take your job, then I gotta do what I gotta do. Right. It's not cool. Uh, crab in the bucket mentality means to me uh, where uh, uh, certain certain nationalities are against one another. Uh, bright people don't like 
the people that are dark, dark people don't like the people that are black. And instead of coming together on one accord, we are constantly working against one another. Um, our city, we have a lot of that or whatever, and that's the problem. Like for instance, if you're a rap artist and another rap artist and your success better than theirs, some type of way they won't beef with you or they dislike, you know what I'm saying, your work or what you're doing. The human behavior thing. You know, you young people call it head, hate me, play a hate. You know, haters need jobs too, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no jobs out here, so you know, you know, sometimes, you know, a hater gotta get, a, get them a job and stay employed, so I try to, you know, keep the haters employed. Crab in the bucket mentality, that's basically the saying, like, none of us ain't made it before, so we don't want to see you make it, and then, and then we still stuck down here. Like, no one really has stuff to be excited about in their lives, when they're stuck in the ghetto, when they don't have an education, when life is just about, what's the bad news I'm gonna hear this week, you know what I mean? Like, everybody say, you know what, the only thing that makes us feel good is that we got this together. We all doing bad. I ain't got no money, you ain't got no money either. I don't have my daddy, guess what? You don't have your daddy or your mom. You live with your grandma, you know, stuff like that. But when one person start rising up from that, and one person gets to the point where they say, man, you know what? I'm about to go to college, bro. I'm about to really, I'm about to really make something of myself. You know what, man? I got a good job. I don't have to sell dope no more, man. Like, I got a good job. Some people have a tendency to say, dang, he gonna leave me, and that is gonna make my problem stick out that much more. You know what I mean? Because my boy who's with me, he moving up. So it makes us not want to see anybody rise. And that's the thing. You go to other cities where it's more progressive, and you got black people that shine it. You know what I mean? You go to Atlanta, like, it's nothing to be a black man there in Atlanta. Right? So me, I'm trying to create a culture around me and around this whole city to where we celebrate success. You know what I mean? I want all my partners to do good. Right? I'm not sitting there like, well, how much you made compared to how much I made. I'm sitting there like, are we both successful? Are we using the talent God gave us? And are we happy? You know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. Having no job, only gas to the stress You think it to yourself, damn what's next? Life is crazy and we all picture that Perfect picture but there's no picture to match Been waiting for the right time, Hannibal Lech Butterflies in my stomach but I'm feeling my best Whatever I start, I finish, no mess Love my city like second line from Jazz Fed Somehow, some way, we gotta get it together Life is great but I want better That feeling of freedom like the great Mandela Black people rise, we done live through the struggle Hustle, through the tussle, scuffle, through the mud hole Just know I'm not afraid of nothing Keep my head to the skies like Benjamin Button Middle finger up to don't tell me nothing. I bring the truth in any discussion. They can't tell me nothing. Nothing. They can't tell me nothing. Nothing. They can't tell me. I have foolproof method for controlling your black slave. It will control the slave for at least 300 years. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. How does entertainment influence negative action in New Orleans and the surrounding area? I think it's across the board. Uh, <clears throat> when people look at uh, a violent film, they, they're not just looking at it in the wall. Nobody's lowering our moral standards. It used to be that whoever evaluated movies before they came out, there was a moral code. You couldn't go see a movie with, 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 with blatant sex or blatant violence or, or, or whatever. Now it's okay. Well, somebody 12 years old can go see it. It's all right. So yes, the answer to your question is that the media, I think, plays an important part, a has a significant impact on the negative behavior of people, period. Be it young people, old people, or, 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 or whatever. Um, because you get so much of it. You will glorify it, so I feel like teachers should be bought. Teachers should have lawyer money. Teacher, teachers should be the ones pulling up in bands at the school. And then that's how you're going to have more people wanting to grow up and be teachers and educate. Uh, <laughs> everybody down here want to be like Lil Wayne, you know, whether or not the kids uh, admit it. You know, that's the funny part is the kids might not admit that they want to be like Lil Wayne, but they do want to be like Lil Wayne. And Lil Wayne is not a bad person. Lil Wayne is really an educated young man who came from, you know, a background where it wasn't all sweet, it wasn't all peaches and cream, but he made himself into a rock star. And he's super rich, he's super popular, but 
the kids only see one side of it. The kids see the side that get glorified as far as the music, the negative lyrics and that type of stuff. So it definitely influences the culture down here, you know what I mean? Like we look up our heroes are people like Soldier Slim, you know what I mean? Obviously Lil Wayne. Like we need a new set of heroes. These niggas don't want to stand on their own two feet and, and be a positive role model. They they look at rappers like Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Fifty percent of these niggas in the world they got dread like cutting Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? And Wayne cut his head, you gonna see a big difference in, in, in a lot of youth, you know what I'm saying? Wayne go to church, you gonna see a lot of difference in these youth, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think rap is a negativity to society. Period. I think the government is negativity to society. If you ask me, <laughs> yeah. Why you feel it's important to carry a weapon in New Orleans and the surrounding areas? Cause you not strapped, and the nigga who want your head, he strapping y'all bum head. You sleeping, dude gonna knock your ass loose. Why you could have had your banger, you could have been banging back and your life. I'm be smart, and I'm gonna stay with my banger and bang back. That's the murder coward to mine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's important cause like, we can't get a job. Nigga gotta sell crack, you know? And if you sell a crack, nigga gonna be out to get you. But I feel like this. Niggas just want a name for themselves. If a nigga got a gun, you gonna try to fool the point to the next nigga. And if you try to put this nigga in this place, you gonna call them people. And when you, this, when you put them in this place, the whole fucking block coming. And this right shit gonna be just the yeah. fucking block down here. Yeah, man. But look, nigga don't give a fuck about that shit, yeah. Nigga got you know, it's hard out here. You just know you want to know, yeah. Gotta watch your back, yeah. Every day, it's dark outside, watch your back. Early in the morning, nigga. It's get out you live. And it's any means necessary. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, so that's why, you know, you gotta be ready. Yeah, I got the motherfucking nine milli, I got the motherfucking machete in my other hand, you know what I'm saying? Shit, get ugly, nigga, to take your motherfucking self, your people, nigga, hold it down and keep it real, keep it gangster, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's all I represent, dog, you know what I'm saying? But this for all you fake ass niggas, so you know, this sounds you will pay, right? Shit, nigga. surrounding area. You come and give people jobs. That's, that's, that's all it's gonna be. Cause I tell you one thing, after you work a full day, you ain't worrying about going to get in nothing. You ain't gonna worry about getting in no trouble. You worked all day, you wait, you won't see that paycheck come. So you waiting on a paycheck, you ain't trying to get in no trouble and go to jail. You waiting on that paycheck. I know I'm waiting on mine. You got to ask the city, the mayor, the governor, the abbot, you know what I'm saying? It's like there's so much that they could do. But it's gonna start with them by not skimming off the top and they gotta stop putting drugs where it don't belong. We already know the thing with that. I mean, man, it, it, it's not one solution. And that's the thing, people who, uh, one of my friends worked with the mayor, you know what I mean? And he talks about it all the time. People expect the mayor to just be able to fix stuff instantly. It's not one solution. Like, the thing that has to happen is a combination of, you know, the family structure has to improve. So first and foremost, we need to stop having all these teenage pregnancies. Uh, you know, morals got to be brought up. Uh, young people got to be taught, no, it's not okay to have a child when you're 15, 16 years old. And grandma gonna take care of it, who's only 35 years old herself. Uh, but I am saying we have to pay attention to the internal factors, whatever it is that makes me me, whatever it is that makes you you. Uh, you know your belief. Do you believe your children should be educated? Do you believe your children should be disciplined and taught that it is disrespectful to steal somebody's hubcaps or steal somebody's wallet? Uh, that's internal stuff. Oh man, outlets. Outlets are more, I'm talking about education. 
You know what I'm saying? For real. Resources, you need jab. You know what I'm saying? Back, nobody testifies against crime. Uh, the, the crime rate is high here, and uh, seems like nobody has seen anything. Nobody comes forward unless it's a, it, it, it's a young child. Mm, well, my solution is I have a stump the violent movement or whatever. And what I do is I go out like today we march for the one year old Kiara. Um, he was murdered, Kiara Holmes was murdered in the Kelly Project. We marched today because it made a year for Megan and Shorty, so that's one year for both of us. For the one year old and a year for Shorty or whatever. So um, I decided, like people seeing me, they wouldn't expect me to be a person that's like tired of the violence or whatever because I'm a part of the community just like them. I ran the streets just like them. I did just about everything they did. I told it. Like people that really know me and know my history, they know. But it's just time for it to come to an end. Everybody who was born and raised have a Louisiana ID should be given an opportunity to have a job first before anybody else in this city. First. And if they're not qualified, train them first for the job. I, I just think that it might be easier said than done, but that's the biggest problem is that we've allowed a whole nother nationality of people to come into the city and get a job where people that's right here from New Orleans can't get a job. You know what I'm saying? Like it's about really, you know, black men coming together, taking care of their family, getting the economics up, you know what I'm saying? Sharing the wealth, sharing the information, you know what I'm saying, and providing for our kids, our family, and our community. If we all come together, we fuck, period. Let's talk about things. Let's have town hall meetings. Let's because when when everybody comes together as one, you can take that and be a full force and combat this crime situation. In the back of our money, it says in God we trust. So we must go back to God. We must go back to seeking Him. We must get these young men and, and, and get them occupied with something and turn to Christ. The supply G5, you can't get no higher. Yeah, New Orleans is hell. We just don't got the fire. This that crime gumbo. What you know about it? I'm from New Orleans City. What you know about it? I rep that dirty south. What you know about it? The only thing you know is bourbon where it be crowded. This that crime gumbo. What you know about it? I'm from New Orleans City. What you know about it? I rep that dirty south. What you know about it? The only thing you know is bourbon where it be to my city where everybody died every day i drive by a different mama crying a damn shame i can feel that mama pain but in the end no shit will never ever change but all across the world it's all the same and if the thugs say it's all in the game and if you ain't gang banging then they say you're lame but as human beings we gotta make a change stop selling dope boy go and get a job with the young generation they read a ride i tell them be a man and pull up their pants but they look at me like you ain't my dad but it's a sad world that we living in every day a nigga dies so pitiful but every day i try to stay spiritual murder in new orleans it's just a ritual this that crime gumbo